Good morning. Morning, Mommy. Hey there. As usual, Mamie Kato, the class favorite, has a dazzling smile. She's bright, social, and kind to everyone. Hey, Mommy, listen to this. My parents saw my math test that I got back yesterday, and they were so mad at me. How did you do? Uh, um, I did properly well again. That's amazing, Mommy. You're good at everything, studies, sports. It's so unfair. Remember the volleyball class? When you attacked all the boys, we were just awestruck. She really is talented and beautiful. And here I am, Yuta Nakata, a high school sophomore watching Mamie with envy. I can't help but daydream, what if a girl like her was my girlfriend? Man, it's cold tonight. I'm aiming to get into a top college, so I go to cram school several nights a week. On my way back home that night, whoa! Uh... I found a woman sleeping among the trash. Ugh, it reeks of booze. Uh, hey, you shouldn't sleep here. You'll catch a cold. Mm. Uh huh? Cold? <laughs> I'm being attacked! No, no, that's not it at all. But if it's a cute guy like you, maybe I wouldn't mind. You're a high schooler, right? Going after a woman in her sleep. Aren't you a bit too eager? I keep telling you, I just woke up because I thought you'd catch a cold. Huh? I see. Well, that totally makes it my fault then. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. I'm just glad you understand. I had too much fun at a college drinking party and got a little carried away. Still, you should be careful. It's dangerous to sleep out here like this. She was really beautiful. But unlike her appearance, she was quite bold and carefree. Hey, my name's Sana. Can you walk me home? Huh? You're not seriously thinking of leaving a drunk girl who passed out in a dumpster alone, are you? Can't you walk? Nope. Can't walk. Alright, I'll go get a taxi. Just wait here. Wait! Oh, hey! I don't want a taxi. I want you to take me home. Believe it or not, I'm usually quite popular. Even if you say that, I don't have the strength to carry you all the way home. Please? Fine. No choice then. I didn't really think about what she was implying at the time. I just thought I had no choice but to carry her home. Hey, stop that please. Ugh, so warm. There's something so comforting about another person's warmth. Please don't blink so much. And you know, you really shouldn't just trust people so easily. You're okay. I have a woman's intuition. Are you really drunk? You seem pretty sober to me. I feel like I'm being teased. I ended up being swept along by this overly affectionate woman named Sana. But then... Seriously, big sis, how many times have I told you to cut back on the drinking? Uh, Mamie? Yuta, why are you holding arms with my sister? At Sana's house entrance, Mamie, the class favorite, appeared. Huh? huh? You two know each other. She's Mamie's sister! She's the one who grabbed my arm, kept insisting I walk her home because she was drunk. I did tell her not to cling too much, but... Uh... Why are you staring at my sister like that? Oh my... No, I wasn't staring, just... Uh, does your sister always get like this when she drinks? Uh, aren't your parents worried about her? It's just the two of us living together now. Our mom went with her dad on his job transfer, so I'm the only one who worries. Mommy, you seem unusually upset. Oh, have you fallen for me, Yuta? Hey! Wait, is that true, Yuta? Sana, don't jump to conclusions. I'm being misunderstood by my classmate, Mamie. Hey, why is Mommy so mad? I'm not mad or anything. Really? It's rare to see you mad, Mommy. 
I was surprised to see Mamie, who's always so kind, showing a scowl for the first time. Hey, Yuta. I said thank you for walking me home. I'll hang out with you sometime. Uh... Don't worry, Mommy will be there too. Uh, why am I involved? Don't decide things on your own. After that, Sana took charge and forcefully exchanged our contact information. The next morning... Good morning! <coughs> uh, what's wrong? The attitude of Mamie, the school sweetheart, had completely changed towards me. Dude, did something happen with Mamie? No, I don't think so, but I wonder why. Oh man, I'm acting like such a jerk. That night, I got a message from Mamie's sister, Sana. It's from Sana! What could it be? Let's have dinner together after school tomorrow. Big sis will treat you. Huh. What should I do? Maybe I should ask her about Mamie's strange behavior. The next day, after school, I went to the family restaurant as promised. Hey there, Yuda. Huh? Mamie, you're here too? I couldn't leave you and my sister alone. If you came running when my sister called, it means you must like her, right? No, that's not it. Then why did you come? Mommy, you're such a worry wart. Worried I might make a move on Yuda? But why would you be worried about that, I wonder? <laughs> Big sis, are you drunk already? No one's going to take care of you this time. Amy seemed upset, and I didn't know what to do. Meanwhile, Sana just kept talking non-stop during the meal. So, Yuda, tell us about your ideal type of girl. Me? Well, uh, someone who always has a smile, I guess? And I'm into social issues, so it'd be great to have someone to talk about that with. Ah, so you like smart girls then. Then mommy's a bit different, huh? I am interested in social issues too. Really? But your last test score was... Ta-da! What about this, huh? Uh, uh, a test barely passed the fail mark? Why would you bring that? I wanted to erase it from existence. I threw it away. Why did you pick it up? Sorry, Mommy. That was unnecessary of me. Forgive me. You just wanted me to look bad and take Yuta for yourself. No, that's not it. I found it outside the trash bin when I was leaving. I meant to put it back but accidentally put it in my bag instead. And, you know, things were so tense between you and Yuta, I just wanted to lighten the mood. Mamie, are you actually not so great at studying? Yeah, I'm totally hopeless. I always thought you were a talented and beautiful girl with no flaws. It feels kind of nice to know you have a weak spot. It makes you feel more relatable. By the way, I could be a candidate for Yuta's girlfriend. Despite appearances, I'm actually good at studying. See, I knew it! You do want to make Yuta yours. No, that's not it. Yuta probably thinks I'm just a sloppy drunk, so I just want to clear my name. I wouldn't steal my sister's crush, right? Hey, big sis! Bingo! Um, does Mimi maybe... Like me? No, <laughs> that can't be it, right? Here's my student ID. What? That's the top college I'm aiming for. You're really smart. That's why I said I'm good at studying. Hey, Yuda, could you maybe tutor mommy? If you're aiming for my college, you must take pretty high grades, right? Sis, why do you keep saying things you shouldn't? Didn't you say you might fail the next test? If you fail, you'll have to take remedial classes, and then everyone will know you're not so bright, right? I did say that, but... Alright, I'll do it! I got a 98 on that subject's test. Then please, take care of my little sister. Sure. 
I agreed because it meant I could get tips from my dream college from Sana and spend time with my crush Mamie. A few days later, I was on my way to the library with Mamie. It's embarrassing that my true self has been exposed. Everyone around me has been under the impression that I can do anything for a long time. I found it hard to tell the truth. Being popular, I guess you didn't want to let everyone down. It's understandable. The school doesn't publish test scores, so I've been telling my friends I always score well. I've been feeling guilty about it. Let's start by making sure you don't fail, and then we can gradually improve your grades. Thank you. Thanks to my sister, I've gotten closer to Yuda. I'm going to study hard and get even closer to him. Yuda, you're really good at teaching. I understand it so well. I'm glad to hear that. But aren't you worried about your own studies? I'm studying well while I teach you, so no worries. Okay, let's start with basic biology. What needs fertilization besides an egg? Love? <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> you could be a poet, Mamie. That's really cute. Uh, I was serious. Honestly, tutoring Mamie was more challenging than I thought. And then the result of the basic biology test came in. 45 points! Nice! You easily avoided failing. How did you do, Yuda? I got a perfect score. Ah, uh, that's a relief. I was worried my scores might drag yours down. My sister said if my grades improve even a little, she wants to invite you over next Sunday. She wants to treat you as a thank you. What do you think? Of course I'll come. But you know, my sister isn't exactly a great cook. I'm a bit worried about that. It's okay. It'll be fun to hang out together, so I'll definitely come. Then Sunday came. Uh, sorry. My sister had some urgent business and had to go out. So it's just the two of us? Yeah, it was so sudden. I made curry rice. That's all I could prepare, but please, have some. Sure. Then I'll come in. These are a thank you. I made them. You made them, Mamie? That's really nice. Thank you. I've been wanting to make cookies for a while. It's one of the few things I can do. Uh, my chest hurts. What? Are you okay? Do you have a heart condition? Should I call an ambulance? I don't think it's that kind of pain. Still, maybe we should go to the hospital. I'll go with you. Lately, just thinking about you, Yuda makes my chest hurt. Uh... That's why, being alone with you now, my heart is racing and it's overwhelming. Does that mean... I just can't hold back my feelings anymore. Please don't cry. Uh, I, I don't know what to do when you cry. When my sister brought you home arm in arm, I was so shocked. I thought she was taking you away from me because I've liked you for such a long time. You like me? Really? I, I can't believe it. You're, you're the bright and sociable class favorite and I'm just the opposite. I was totally stunned by her unexpected confession. This must look like I'm trying to win you over by crying, huh? But it's true. I've liked you for a long time. You're quiet, but so kind. That's why I like you. Even my sister said that. I'm sorry for crying. I just couldn't help it. Please forgive me. I think I've probably liked you even longer than you've liked me. You're everything I'm not. Always so bright and shiny. I always thought it would be great if someone like you could be my girlfriend. Our relationship took a dramatic turn as we spent time alone together. Phew! It all started with my crush, but I knew it all along. Mommy liked Yuda, and he wasn't totally indifferent either. That's why I brought them together. Even today's urgent business was just a fib. 
Turns out we've both got completely caught up in this clever scheme of this excellent big sister. 